Welcome to SFI's Principles of Sustainable Forestry. My name is Mike Smulligan. I'm a forester with the Michigan Department of Natural Resources. Forest certification has two major objectives. First, certification seeks to define standards that explain what good forest management looks like out in the woods. And second, forest certification seeks to provide confidence to consumers that they are purchasing products that are coming from responsibly managed forests. There are two major international certification bodies, both of which are private sector and based in Europe. The Forest Stewardship Council is based in Germany, and the the program for the endorsement of forest certification is based in Switzerland. Both of those two organizations have uh, certification bodies here in the United States, uh, the Forest Stewardship Council USA, and then under PEFC, the Sustainable Forestry Initiative and the American Tree Farm System are both endorsed by PEFC here in the uh, United States. SFI standards are based on principles that promote continual improvement in sustainable forest management practices. SFI has three separate standards that elaborate and expand upon the 14 principles. The forest management standard is designed for landowners. The fiber sourcing standard is designed for loggers and mills that are procuring wood. And the chain of custody standard is designed for mills and retailers that are selling forest products. SFI's first principle is sustainable forestry. Sustainable is a commonly used term, but it's rarely well defined. So here SFI is trying to define what it means by sustainable. Specifically, sustainable means that uh, good forestry will be recognizing that the needs of future generations are just as important as the needs of our current generation. Sustainable forestry is a land ethic where we define what it is to take good care of the land. Sustainable forestry focuses on reforestation where we make sure that forests remain forests and we avoid land use change to other types of land uses like agriculture or urban areas or, or um, other types of uh, deforestation. Sustainable forestry focuses on management and creating products that are useful for society. And then finally, sustainable forestry has a major focus on the ecosystem services, such as soil and water and air quality, carbon sequestration, biological diversity, wildlife habitats, recreation and aesthetics. These ecosystem services are incredibly important public goods that all forests provide, and sustainable forestry needs to make sure that those uh, uh, ecosystem services are available for both current and future generations. SFI's second principle is forest productivity and health. Again, uh, re-emphasizing that regeneration after harvest is essential to forest productivity. We want to ensure that forests remain forests and that after a harvest, either natural regeneration or artificial regeneration ensures um, adequate stocking of productive forests. We need to maintain this productive capacity of the forest so that we can ensure a uh, future supply of forest products. Soils are the foundation for a healthy forest. A, a, healthy, and, um, uh, a healthy soil is essential to uh, growing trees and all other vegetation in the forest. Forest health has a major emphasis on addressing economic and environmental pests, insects and diseases, invasive plants, uh, minimizing undesirable wildfire, and addressing other uh, damaging agents that uh, would harm the productivity of the forest. The goal is a healthy forest, and we want to ensure that our forest management activities are improving the forest over time, not degrading the forest. SFI's third principle is the protection of water resources. SFI seeks to protect water bodies and riparian areas and to conform with forestry best management practices to protect water quality. Uh, the, Michigan is home to more than 11,000 lakes and uh, has over 45% of the Great Lakes. So water is a major part of the, the forest landscape here in Michigan. In the riparian zone is that area where 
land and water meet up, and it's essential to uh, do um, extra good forestry in those riparian zones. And so Michigan has developed the uh, forestry best management practices for soil and water quality. This was recently updated in 2018. And uh, BMPs, even if they are considered voluntary, are required by forest certification. So it's very important that um, foresters and landowners and loggers are aware of the BMP manual and are using it to take good care of the riparian management zone. SFI's fourth principle is the protection of biological diversity. SFI wants to manage forests in ways that protect and promote biological diversity, including animal and plant species, wildlife habitats, and ecological or natural community types. Michigan has many beautiful uh, forests and other types of natural communities. The book here on the right is a publication of the Michigan Natural Features Inventory, which is the organization that uh, evaluates natural communities around the state and helps us identify what are the important uh, plants and animals and other species and the habitats where they occur so that we can do a good job of um, protecting and promoting uh, the outstanding biological diversity that we have here in Michigan. SFI's fifth principle is aesthetics and recreation. SFI wants to manage the visual impacts of forest operations and to provide recreational opportunities for the public. The beauty of our forests is incredibly important, and we want to uh, help educate landowners and the public that all disturbances will impact those aesthetics in the short term. But in the long term, a healthy forest that is managed may not be uh, neat and clean, but we want to make sure that that it has uh, both um, important ecological functions and maintain the, the beauty and the aesthetics of our forests. Recreation is a huge part of the, the forests here in Michigan. Many uh, thousands of people uh, recreate in the forests, whether it's hunting or fishing or camping or hiking or uh, riding bikes or, or other types of recreation. Recreation is a very important part of both public and private forests here in Michigan. SFI's principle number six is the protection of special sites. SFI wants to manage lands that are ecologically, geologically, or culturally important in a manner that takes into account their unique qualities. And so uh, for ecological aspects, the Michigan Natural Features Inventory will rank natural communities one through five, with the rarest communities being ranked number one. And uh, so it's important to uh, maintain those natural communities. Geologically, there are lots of unique features throughout Michigan, especially in the Upper Peninsula where we have uh, um, uh, caves and cliffs and other glacial features that are geologically significant. And then culturally, the State Historic Preservation Office maintains a record of archaeological sites and other unique cultural features that we want to be sure to protect when doing forest management. SFI's seventh principle is responsible fiber sourcing practices in North America, where SFI wants to use and promote, among other forest landowners, sustainable forestry practices that are both scientifically credible and economically, environmentally, and socially responsible. So not only does SFI want to ensure good management on lands that are currently certified through SFI, but we want to be promoting good management to other landowners and to the public and making sure that that um, good forestry is based on science and ethics and is uh, both economically and environmentally responsible. SFI's principle number eight is legal compliance, where SFI wants all uh, participants to comply with applicable federal, provincial, state, and local forestry uh, and related environmental laws, statutes, and regulations. So federal laws might include the Clean Water Act or the Endangered Species Act or the uh, Federal Insecticide, Fungicide, and Rodenticide Act that guides the use of pesticides. Um, state laws might include the Right to Forest Act or the Natural Resource Resources and Environmental Protection Act. Uh, local laws might include soil erosion permits or road restrictions and so forth. Uh, regardless of uh, what type of law, we want to make sure that uh, everyone involved with SFI is complying with applicable laws. 
SFI's ninth principle is research, where SFI wants to support advances in sustainable forest management through forestry research, science, and technology. So it's important for SFI to support uh, universities like Michigan Tech and Michigan State that are uh, conducting research and are um, looking into ways for, for better forest management. We want to work with um, corporations and others that are inventing new technology and new tools that will improve our work. And the goal here is to advance good forestry and to expand our knowledge and improve our practices in the woods. And I'd like to recognize that um, good research and good learning doesn't happen only in formal education settings like universities, but as the, as the image on the lower left shows, the school of hard knocks is where most most of us learn and, uh, you know, uh, making, uh, you know, uh, good observations of what we're doing in the woods and learning through experience is incredibly important. SFI's principle number 10 is training and education, where SFI wants to improve the practice of sustainable forestry through training and education programs. So training, we want to make sure that we're getting better at what we're doing, and education is where we want to learn new things. And it's important that uh, we are getting better at the work that we're doing out there in the woods. And at the end of the day, uh, the woods themselves is uh, is what we're really looking for. We want to see the forests of Michigan improving with our management and activities. And so the, the results out in the woods are, are more important than a test score on, on a piece of paper. So let's make sure that um, we're improving the forests here in Michigan as we manage them and take good care of them. SFI's principle number 11 is community involvement and social responsibility, where we want to broaden the practice of sustainable forestry on all lands through community involvement, socially responsible practices, and through recognition and respect of indigenous people's rights and traditional forest related knowledge. So there's many opportunities for everyone involved with SFI to be involved with their community and to engage with our local community. And uh, we want to make sure that we're promoting forest management that is socially responsible, where we're uh, basing our, our practices on both good science and um, a land ethic that is accepted by, you know, society. And we also want to make sure that we're uh, respecting the Native Americans. There are 12 federally recognized tribes here in Michigan, and we want to uh, work with them and respect their spiritual sites and uh, ensure that we're uh, being good neighbors with our, our uh, local tribes here in Michigan. SFI's principle number 12 is transparency, where SFI wants to broaden the understanding of forest certification to SFI standards by documenting certification audits and making the findings publicly available. It's very important that we're transparent about what we're doing with forest management here in Michigan. Uh, we want to document our work and we want to be public about it. We don't want to, uh, you know, sweep anything under the rug and we want to, you know, use this transparency as an opportunity for promoting forest certification, where we should be proud of um, the results of our work and these certification audits should be documenting good work in, done in the woods and is an opportunity to uh, showcase that to our neighbors and to the public. SFI's principle number 13 is continual improvement. SFI wants to continually improve the practice of forest management and to monitor, measure, and report performance in achieving the commitment to sustainable forestry. So this is my favorite SFI principle. I love this idea of continual improvement because all of us should always be seeking to get better at what we do. And this is an opportunity not only to um, have internal evaluations to improve our work and our forests for the next generation, but it's also an opportunity to um, report to the public about the good work that we're doing. And um, I think we can increase the social license for good forest management here in Michigan if we are honest and transparent about uh, the, the work that we're doing in the woods. And if we are forthright in showing that we are interested in getting better at how we manage our forests here in Michigan. 
SFI's principle number 14 is avoidance of controversial sources, including illegal logging and offshore fiber sourcing. So for mills that are uh, securing uh, wood and fiber from outside the United States, we want to make sure that those mills are not uh, buying any wood from illegally logged forests and that uh, we're uh, avoiding buying wood and fiber from countries that don't have effective social laws that protect the rights of their, their people. So in summary, these are uh, SFI's 14 overarching principles that define the Sustainable Forestry Initiative and are further elaborated by the three standards. If you would like to read the full text of SFI's principles and the standards, uh, that document is available at sfiprogram.org.